It's me again. Uh, just cleaned the carburetor. Uh, it's not as hard as it look, looks like or seems to be. Uh, what you have to do pretty much is first you have to undo your throttle cable, which is this right here. Uh, it screws off. So just, uh, you know, unscrew it. And then you take these three screws here. And that throttle cable goes through there and it, it, it connects to this little thing that's up here. It has a little canal, just uh, it has a little round thing, just take that off, that little piece comes off, so put it where you know you'll find it, and then just pull the throttle cable right out. Uh, and the other side, it has something similar to this, and unscrews too, except it doesn't have the, this cap with the screws, just unscrews, um, and it's for your uh, choke. So uh, just undo that, and then this has a little clamp on this side over here. You can take this off here, but it, it's a lot easier if you take it from out here. And then uh, just take your Phillips head and unscrew it. The same thing with your um, air box. It has a hose, which is you can see it right there. Loosen it up and it should come right off. Then I, label, I labeled all my hose with tape and just kind of described it so I'll know where they go. Um, take this little thing off here, just unscrews, and then your electrical outlets I don't know what they're for um, but yeah just take those off it's really easy to put back together and then um, put some kind of a rag here to make sure you don't get nothing into your motor uh, but once you do that uh, oh yeah once you take it off take uh, off the, all the plastics and rubbers that you can find and put them somewhere so you can clean them later and then I bought this here it works pretty good you should dip it in there, it comes with a little tray. I let the carburetor sit in there for about a day. And then I took it out the next day and just kind of went over it with that to make sure I got all that stuff off. And then I got a, a compressor and uh, blew into all the holes that are in there to make sure I blew everything out. Then I sprayed the, um, that uh, with all, all the other parts that I had to make sure they were clean. I put it back together and uh, seems to be working fine. Um, and that's just pretty much this. Just make sure you put really good notes so you'll remember how to how to put it back. I, I did put it back and I was having some problems. I was leaking fuel from these lines. So I took it off again and kind of looked at it. I thought maybe I put something back that wasn't supposed to be there, but I just cleaned it again. And uh, I think it's working fine now. It's too early to tell. I, I haven't really driven it that long to tell, but um, it's holding so far. Um, but, yeah, just remember you take away all the, uh, rubbers and plastics and remember where you put them and then dip them in that and it should be good as new. But you have to, it's a lot easier if you take away the gas tank. Um, it has two screws in the back and two in the front, kind of hard to get to, and then the plastic kind of screws into that. Um, and then it has has some screws here on top you have to unscrew that for the plastic to get it off and then just slide the gas tank off make sure you um, you undo it from the carburetor first and uh, turn it off and then undo it from here um, and then you're good to go you can clean it do whatever it is you want to do with it and then um, just dip it in there and clean it and put it back together put it back together. I, I got a chance to put the plastic back in there. I got it in. I think it turned out pretty good. Painted the front bumper and the rack black. It used to be gray. Um, I still have to put the little skid play back on there. Um, I was having problems with my brakes that were locking up so I bled them. I'm going to change the fluid. It's working fine now but I'm going to go ahead and change it. That oil is probably really old and uh, probably try to take some of that rust off but it's working fine I think it turned out really good I'm really happy the way it looked and I brought it home because this plastic is about four months in back order for the rear so I didn't want to let it sit in, in the shop for that long so I just brought it home so I can play with it maybe ride it every once in a while I think it turned out pretty good yeah so the back fender is back order for four months 
I put the old one, I cut all the burnt stuff off, I put it back in there so I can just start it as I please, so I wouldn't have to put it on top of a piece of wood and all that junk, so this will be easier for now. Um, but yeah, it's really not hard to put the plastic back in there, um, and then you're good to go. Just remember you, where you put all the screws and you know that good stuff. Um, I do have another four-wheeler. I here it is. It's a Honda Rancher ES. It's my first four-wheeler. Uh, this thing is pretty nice. I, I I like it a lot. It can go through anything. It can climb anything, and I don't have big tires on it, so I'm really happy with it. It's an 03. It has your uh, you know your shifter up here, which is good. I, that one has it in the foot. Why you have to shift with your foot and I mean it's okay. I don't like it that much, but yeah, this this is my Honda. And then um, oh, there's my feet. I need to get a new one. And then this one is a Polaris 500. This is my father-in-law. So it's it's a pretty good looking machine. It's pretty fast too. Um, it has the optional four-wheel drive and and your Overdrive, reverse, uh, pretty mean machine too. But yeah, I need to get a new seat. This one's pretty fried. I just kind of taped it so I wouldn't sit on that stuff and stain my pants or whatever. But uh, this stupid seat is about 200 and something from the dealer, brand new. So I'm hoping to find a used one somewhere. So if somebody has one, let me know. I don't care with the rubber or with the plastic on top it has a few holes I can I can get that I need cover for that doesn't matter but yeah here it is as soon as I get the back one I, I'm gonna do some more things to it so I'll let you know how that goes need to bleed the brakes and I'll probably do a few things here and there but there's really not much I can do until I get that rear fender it's good to go it'll run but yeah there's uh there's my my Honda, let y'all know on any other updates I have.